What's up, YouTube? This uh, this is the Mr. Bailey CTB16 here, and um, today we're gonna review um, two different kinds of paintball guns: um, the Spider Victor and then the Titman Griffin, as you can see there. And um, we're gonna tell you what's um, what comes in the um, packet that you get with them. And um, so I hope you enjoy the video. And first up is the Spider. Victor. Okay, so this is the Spider Victor. Um, I ordered this on Amazon for $104. It comes with a standard gravity hopper, um, a 20 ounce CO2 tank, and um, this little handy dandy little mask. That That's probably the most important thing you need when you play paintball is a mask. And so um, this mask is actually really nice for um, just, even though it's like plastic, but it you can like really see through this. Like you're not even wearing a mask. It's not cloudy and it doesn't fog. And it also comes with six pods, um, a pod holder. But um, be sure you're like grown up because that thing, the tightest it'll go, it's about that far from my waist. And so, um, yeah. And so, uh, okay. So this is the velocity changer. But the tricky and weird thing is. That if you turn it, there's a little, um, the bolt, this thing. I'm not gonna take it out because I have BBs or paintballs in here and they'll just all come down to the barrel. Anyways, in there, there, this thing comes up and you push it up and then you pull it out and that's what releases the bolt. But if you keep turning this, um, clockwise, it, there's a thing right here that um, has a spring to make this go back and make it have like recoil and to propel the ball out of the barrel. So if you keep moving that, it'll turn it and then this thing won't be able to go back down and it won't like level up so you can't push it down and so you can't cock it back to shoot it. And um, this barrel sock did not come with it. I had to purchase this at um, my, uh, my um, local um, paintball um, shop thing. And um, it's a JT um, barrel sock. It comes with a barrel plug, but um, that's not very good. Um, that's, and it didn't come with any of the paintball I can hear in here. It didn't come with anything. It came with a safe, safety switch. And um, it doesn't come with a grip, so you're just going to have to grab onto this and shoot. But it doesn't really matter. But it makes a difference. And it comes with um, a toolkit. So you can put the hopper on. You need a. I've noticed in paintball you need a lot of Allen wrenches and um, screws. So um, yeah, and um, you can take and the squeegee. You just have to take the barrel off and then just stick it down in there and then pull it through and it cleans the barrel really good. And so be sure to use that after a day's play of this because you know you don't know what could be down there dirt from paint. To just anything so make sure you clean that and um, it comes with a couple of extra o-rings for this for the tank because on in this part on the valve part it takes an o-ring and um, if you bust that then right when you screw this onto here it'll just let air out and it won't screw on um, it won't screw on um, securely to where it won't leak air and um, overall, it's a pretty good starter gun for the price. I ordered it on Am Amazon, so I got all the accessories with it, the six pods, pot holder, and um, just everything that comes with it, this, and the hopper, and the barrel plug, and the helmet, all for $104, which is pretty good for a starter. And for a young person that's getting into paintball, it's not that expensive. And so overall, for a starter gun, I would rate this probably a seven and a half. You know, it does have ma malfunctions, and it's just overall a really good starter gun. And so I definitely recommend this for starters. So um, now we're going on to the Titman Griffin. Hey guys, um, this is the Titman Griffin. Um, and first thing I want to say is. You probably haven't seen my face in a while, and yes, I did get glasses, so you'll see me with those in the videos. But back to the review. Um, first, let's start off with what comes with the gun in the package. 
Um, it comes with this uh, mask, which is uh, really important. Uh, and it has the anti-fog. Uh, so, it's pretty much a regular mask. Uh, it comes with the squeegee, so you can clean your barrel or your gun, I guess. It comes with a uh, bigger element and a small one. It comes with a single O-ring. And then it also comes with uh, some lubricant. Just a small little tube type of lubricant. But there are the things that come with the gun. Um, or marker, whatever you want to call it. And then here's the marker itself. Um, so let's start from the back and just go up. Alright, so it comes with a um, 9 inch, 9 ounce um, can, uh, tank and it can take compressed air or CO2 and uh, it's in, the lines are actually in the little grip here so it's not, it doesn't have a line coming out which I actually like so it'll be easier to uh, move around without hitting that so I definitely like that also um, it, it's actually, it's not too hard to put on the tank uh, but I guess it's regular type of, but this is actually my first one, so. Um, so let's go to the trigger. Um, it's a blade trigger, as you can see, and it's really smooth. It's one of the smoothest, uh, paintball triggers that I've ever felt, but I've only felt like three, so. For me, it's pretty good. And, uh, so it's really smooth, and right above it is, um, the, uh, safety you can see here the push safety and there's just a little grip right there and then uh, right here is the bolt and the bolt is actually inside of the gun so you cannot take it out um, you can see can't take that out anywhere but uh, it doesn't really matter to me um, but you have the uh, hopper right here and I'm pretty sure it can hold 200 paintballs so that's pretty good and so far there haven't been any jams in here um, but that's the hopper and it comes with this cool little grip here that helps a lot for me so that you can actually move around and uh, not have as much weight uh, just on that one hand um, then it comes with a barrel sock as well and uh, I like having a barrel sock because it's safe and uh, the barrel it's a 10 inch barrel um, uh, as you can see it comes with this 10 inch barrel and then as in the other gun you just simply stick this down here Let me just show you so you'll know kind of hard to push down and you just pull on it like that it's clean now but uh i just want to clean it so i know that it won't make a mess but do it over like paper towel or a sink where you can wash it out um so that's pretty much it this gun is uh really light it's probably about four to five pounds um so yeah uh i recommend giving this gun as well as the other gun these are both really good starter guns and uh let's take this out and uh let's sh uh shoot both of these guns see how they do Okay, so um, this is the shooting part of this um, video, and so I'm going to be shooting the Spider Victor, and um, always have your mask on because um, I was at a paintball um, place, and um, we were shooting our guns, and uh, one ricocheted him in the arm, so you always want to wear your glasses because it might just ricochet and hit you in the eye, but then you'll never get that eye back. Anyways, back to the shooting test. So um, this is the Spider Victor, and I got... Um, full 20 amp CO2 tank from Dix. So, um, here we go.
really accurate. Um, you can really shoot pretty fast with this gun. I know it's not a speedball gun with a double trigger or anything, but um, I'm pretty sure you can um, make it to where it'll come back and to where you can um, adjust it. So um, I'm just going to shoot the box down there some more. Alright, I only got a couple more um, paintballs left, so might as well just finish them off. One more. Last one. Oh, there's actually two more. Alright, so... Alright, so... The hopper's now emptied. So always put your barrel stock back on. Put your safety on. And, um, so that was the Spider Victor. So, na so now is the, um, uh, Titman Griffin. So now we're going to do the uh, tip main stripping. It's going to be the shooting part. Uh, take it off the safety. And you ready? Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Always got to pull the bolt back. Bro. Thank you.